Hey guys, welcome to my university. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the key differences between MS with theses and without theses. If you're interested in doing your masters, then this is an important decision that you need to make at some point. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the key differences between the two approaches by providing you some realistic examples and also based upon certain things that you need to consider. All right, let us first talk about graduation requirements. Now, let me give you an example here. Say that you want to do your MS without theses also called as MS coursework only option at the University of Texas Arlington okay and say that you are a computer science student then you need 37 credits in total to get your degree certificate okay basically what this means is that you will be taking 12 courses uh, 12 graduate level courses and attend graduate seminars once you have done this that's it you can graduate on the other hand let us say that you decide to do MS with thesis option then you have to take only 10 courses and for your final thesis you will have six credits okay and the remaining one credit is for your graduate seminar once you complete your final thesis and once you complete all of your 10 courses you will be able to graduate so let me tell you what is thesis right to put it simply it is basically a comprehensive project that you will be working on from your second or third semester till you graduate and all of this is done under the guidance of a professor now let us talk about the second difference the courses that you are going to be taking for ms without thesis like i said before you have to just take a set of courses the courses that you choose will depend upon your area of study so if you are into machine learning computer vision then you will be taking courses from that area on the other hand when you're doing ms with thesis then you will have to take some compulsory courses that your department offers and in addition to that you will also be taking few courses that your project guide asks you to take remember project guide is called as the advisor the third difference between ms with thesis and without thesis is the time for graduation for ms without thesis option you will graduate in two years for sure if everything goes well for ms with thesis you need to finish your thesis and there are a lot of cases in which you know people have taken well over two years to graduate this is normal because sometimes your problem statement might be hard however sometimes people spend three or even four years to get their ms degree this can happen if you don't have a good relationship with your advisor basically if you're rocky and if your advisor is apollo creed then it's going to go something like this oh, you're going down oh, no way the fourth difference is the internship opportunity after two semesters you can go for an internship when you take ms without thesis there is nothing stopping you from getting an internship however if you take ms with thesis then your guide might ask you to work during the summer however this is not a bad thing if he's actually paying you to work during summer when you choose ms with thesis option there is a chance for you to get some kind of funding now this can be in the form of a research assistantship a teaching assistantship a project assistantship and in some cases a graduate assistantship this totally depends on your advisor okay typically if you do a good job if you're working hard if you're completing tasks on time then your advisor is most likely going to fund you if you choose ms without thesis then you can still find sources of funding but there's a good chance you will not get a scholarship at all all right number six jobs when you take ms without thesis your chances of getting a good job depends on your GPA, the projects that you have done, and more importantly, the networking skills that you have. On the other hand, if you do your master's with thesis, then you already have a network. You can directly reach out to seniors from the same lab who are currently working in the industry. Again, you still need to have a good GPA and projects to crack the interview, but at least you already have a network in place that you can reach out for help. All right, the final difference. Say that you're interested in doing a PhD, okay? In both cases, if you do MS with thesis or without thesis, you can continue to a PhD. However, if you have done a thesis for your master's and if you decide to continue to do a PhD in the same lab, then things are going to be much easy for you. You have already worked with the advisor. You guys have a very good working relationship together and there's a good chance that you can graduate sooner because you already know what the lab is focusing on and what is the problem that you're trying to solve. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment box below. If you like our video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much.